So I signed five clients in 72 hours last month. And in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly how I did it. So I'll be covering all the technical stuff, like how I structured the offer, how I booked the appointments, how I made the sales, but that's actually not the most important part of this video. The most important part of this video is the thinking behind it and the underlying principles, the underlying reasons why this was even possible in the first place. Because before this period, about a week or two right before, we signed another three clients. So what I wanna do in this video is firstly explain the technical aspects, but then go into the thinking behind it that's gonna allow you to do the same. Because if you don't understand the thinking, if you don't understand the underlying principles, then no matter what tactics that I give you, you won't be able to actually implement it into your business because you know, you most likely have the tactics already, right? If you watched any one of my other videos, you will have the tactics on exactly how to do it. It's most likely that the thinking behind it isn't fully structured correctly. So that's the goal of this video. And if you don't know who I am, firstly, my name's Ethan Walby. I'm the co-founder of Agency Growth Partner. We've been helping dozens and dozens of marketing agencies to scale up, you know, adding an additional 50 to 100K per month to their revenue while building out these sorts of client acquisition machines like I'm gonna talk about in this video. And if you want more information on that, there'll be a link in the description. You can just click on that and then, you know, watch whatever said. So to get into the technical aspects, there's three things that you need to actually be signing clients very, very predictably. And this is demand, attention, and conversion. So I'll go into each one of them and then give some more context as to exactly how you can apply this for yourself. So the first thing that we need is demand, right? So the people that we speak to need to need what we're offering. Not just want, it can't just be a nice to have, it has to be a need, right? If they don't have what you are offering or any similar service, there is a chance that they will go out of business. That is a need. A want is, you know, a better logo or some other thing that's not really gonna make a difference at all. And if you're selling logos right now, I'm sorry, but we need to offer something that they need. So in our situation, what we were offering is an acquisition system, right? A way to build a new offer to predictably book meetings every single day and a predictable systemized way to convert them into high paying clients while raising their prices, while doing all these other things. So if they don't have new clients coming in, if they don't have new business coming in, they are going out of business. So that is why what we're offering is so appealing to these people. And this is also why we're able to charge, you know, two to three times more than traditional agencies who charge around, you know, 2K, 3K a month and also why we have a higher close percentage than all of them, right? We're good at sales, we're good at marketing, but really it all stems from the market. If the market didn't want what we're offering, we'd make sales, we can figure something out, but we're not gonna make nearly as many as if the market needs what we're offering. So once we found that need in the market, what we did was position what we did, which is building these acquisition systems, booking the meetings, signing the clients, as an outcome, not as a service. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see most agencies make is that they're constantly speaking about what they do as opposed to the outcome of what the prospect will get. So I see so many agencies talking about how they're a Facebook ads or a you know performance marketing agency or an email marketing agency or all these other services. Whereas the prospect, the people that you're speaking to, they want outcomes. They wanna know what can the service generate for me? So this is one of the biggest ways that you can differentiate yourself in the first place is to stop talking about what you are in terms of a service and talk about it in terms of the outcome. Instead of email marketing, right? Instead of being an email marketing agency for e-com brands, you help e-com brands to generate an extra 50,000 per month without spending a dollar on ads. That is the outcome. And it's a lot more appealing than sending emails. So this, for the first point, generating demand, is just gonna add to that. If we can offer something that people need, firstly, and position it as an outcome versus a service, the demand for what you're offering will be so high compared to all these other little agencies. So that's what we did. But then the next problem that most agencies face is that they have an offer, they have demand, but they're not booking meetings. And then they wonder why, 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 why can't I book meetings? And it's because people don't know who you are, right? People don't know you. And this is our problem as well until we started doing outreach and content. So that leads into the next point, which is attention, right? If people don't know who you are, they can't buy from you. Crazy, right? But most people never think of this. If they don't know who you are, they cannot buy from you. So we did two things to actually make this happen, to get known in the market. And the first was making content, just like you're seeing right now on YouTube. But secondly, was leveraging an outbound email system. So what we did was we reached out to our potential prospects, our potential clients, and we sent an email to them offering what we did. And again, it wasn't anything complicated. We just spoke about what we did. 
we said, hey, hope you're doing great. We help establish agencies to increase their revenue by this amount in this time frame. We do this by building out a client acquisition system. Would you be open to a quick call and talk about it? So because we did these two things, we combined them together. And this is what most agencies don't do. Firstly, they don't do any of them. But besides that, they never combine the two together. So we would send these outbound messages at scale to the people we want to work with. So we work with established marketing agencies, the ones that have you know, a foundation base, they have case studies, they have systems, they have team members. We reached out to them using email. And then when they didn't reply or when they did reply and they stopped replying, we would use our YouTube videos like these ones as follow-ups in the sequence. So this provided value upfront and it allowed them to get onto calls with us because they see that the value that we offer. And then for the ones who book a call without the videos, we would send these videos and a ton of other case studies that we have as you know proof or as pre-warming assets so that when they did get onto the call, they already knew who I was and they already liked me and trust me and got value from what I did. So because of this, people were very, very, very eager or very likely to convert into clients because they already built so much trust because they can literally watch my YouTube videos for you know 50 hours before even speaking to me. And then in combination with that, we had a sales team that would do all these replies for us. Obviously, I didn't have the time to do this myself. So someone on the team would manage these replies once we get responses and then book them into meetings with us. And then finally, we needed a conversion process. And a conversion process is simply taking someone from not being a client to being a client, right? It's that simple. Now, most people get so hung up on this because what they do is they focus purely on the sales process. They look for all these scripts. You check their YouTube history and it's like Jordan Balfour closing technique or Grand Cardone sales tips. But that's not the point, right? We don't actually want to be focusing on sales that much because my belief is that all the selling, 90, 95% of the selling should be done before the call even starts. Because we're not doing this in the 50s where there's no internet and no one can watch your YouTube videos, we're not them, we're doing it now where people can literally consume hundreds and hundreds of hours of your content before even speaking to you. So the smart approach to this would be to maximize and put everything up front that they can consume before even speaking because as a business owner your time is valuable so you can't be wasting it on unqualified calls so by putting all this information up front you're really front loading the amount of conversion that's being done before having the conversation in the first place so that's really what i focused on just providing value in these videos online and then i spent some time focusing on the sales process and what that consisted of was a two call close the first call was purely discovery this is where we figured out what problems are they facing you know where are they currently in terms of revenue where do they want to go what's stopping them and then in the second call it was a proposal on exactly how i thought we could help them get there very straightforward very easy very conversational very calm as well there's no crazy selling no hard closes no false urgencies or scarcity tactics it's literally just conversational to understand can we help you yes or no okay if we can this is how we do it and that's literally it so by using those three components demand attention and conversion if we have those three together and you maximize each one, those are all the technical aspects that you need to sign clients for your agency, right? That is all you need. But I want to quickly walk you through some of the thinking that I had behind it and how I got into the situation. I think it was signing around eight clients in one month or even a bit more. So the first thing that I wanted to emphasize was that myself and my partner, we made the goal to have too many bookings, right? We had too many bookings for me to actually get onto a call with. It was literally running into the next few weeks because the week that we were on, there was not enough space in my calendar. And that was completely intentional because the key thinking behind this was to have pure abundance in terms of bookings and sales calls. Because when you have so many calls every single day, you stop caring whether someone signs up or not. If someone even gives you a little bit of an issue, I will just end the call. I will just say, cool, you're probably doing great, but I don't really want to work with you. So I just end the call because I have so many bookings coming up that I don't need to stress over a single prospect. But in reality, what happened is that because I didn't care that much, because I was so strict over who we work with that I could just say no at an instant, that I ended up signing more clients because they saw it, they felt it. And I think this applies everywhere in life, right? If you have an abundance in an area, you're not so eager to try and make the sale, try and make the sale or try and, you know, get the other person to like you, all of those things. I just sat back, asked them some questions, showed them what I do, and then they wanted to sign up. And I think one of the core reasons for this is that when this is the case, you have the abundance, you can easily say no, is that you start focusing on the process as opposed to the outcome, right? 
when I was doing this process, I wasn't super concerned about, oh, I need them to sign up. I need them to pay this invoice, rent is due, all these things. That wasn't the case at all. But we were so calm, we were so collected during the situation is that all we needed to do was just focus on the process. My thinking as we went along was just, you know, how can I post some better content? How can we get some more meetings? And then it was very calm as we went along and it just resulted in us getting the outcome that we wanted regardless and actually exceeding the target, which was around two clients a month at our price point. So for most agency owners that I speak to, I think they're still facing that problem, that feeling of scarcity, that feeling of not knowing if they're gonna get new business in. And honestly, when you can solve this one problem, firstly, of booking appointments, you will almost never fall into that scarcity mindset again. Because if you have two to four calls every single day and you know that you're going to keep getting them every single day, do you really stress over, you know, a call that didn't convert or, you know, an annoying client that's, you know, complaining about all these things? You don't care about those things because you know that new business is always coming in. So what I'd recommend is to put all your attention, if this isn't the case for you right now, if you're not predictably signing clients every single week, to put all your energy towards booking these appointments, right? Get to the point where you are overbooked in terms of people wanting to work with you. And if you can do this, you will be in an amazing spot. And I'm telling you, it's not far away. If you can master these three things, you will get there. And if you want some more information on how we could do this for you on a you know done for you basis, you can just check the link in the description. But regardless, you could do it without us. You definitely could. So if you found this video useful, I'd highly recommend subscribing. Plus a lot more like this, like it, comment, and I'll talk to you again in the next one.